Good morning, Robert Scribbler. It is August 2nd, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm going to discuss a new statement by scientists about the potential to enter what they call a hothouse earth type state. But before I do, I, I want to talk about the various features of the Earth system that, that help to keep our climate stable. And those features are the glacial masses over land, including Greenland and Antarctica, the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere sea ice, the permafrost, primarily in the northern hemisphere, the rainforests in the tropical regions, and the ocean itself, primarily in the middle to upper latitudes, which takes in a, a portion of, of the carbon that is produced by various effects and helps to keep the atmosphere and ocean and lands in balance as the carbon cycle progresses. This system has kept the Earth relatively stable within about a two degrees Celsius range of temperature swings throughout the ice age and interglacial periods of the last two million years. Now, each of these systems to a greater or lesser degree either stores carbon or keeps the Earth cool by reflecting a portion of sunlight out into space in the most simplistic understanding. But since the start of the Industrial Revolution, primarily since the start of mass excavation of carbon reserves in the form of fossil fuels and burning them through industrial processes, the Earth has accumulated a massive volume of greenhouse gases. And the present greenhouse gas load is roughly equivalent to a level that hasn't been seen in the past 15 million years. And this high level of atmospheric greenhouse gases in combination with continued fossil fuel burning such that 40 billion tons of CO2 are emitted into the atmosphere every year through fossil fuel burning, is generating a heat overburden in the Earth's atmosphere that threatens the stability of a number of the systems, if not all, that I just described to you. In the past, we have seen temperatures in the range of three to four degrees Celsius above normal at atmospheric carbon stabilization levels that we presently see today. And this is a, a serious concern. But if you continue fossil fuel burning, you get into ranges that are much warmer, such that it risks completely losing even the Antarctic ice sheet. Now that's a simplification. It also risks turning the rainforests into dry savanna. It risks turning the permafrost into a region of land that produces a lot more carbon rather than storing it. It, ris it risks both acidifying the ocean and turning the ocean into a source of carbon itself and the removal of the ice sheets risks removing a sunlight deflector screen that helps to keep the Earth cool. And that's why scientists right now are speaking out. Why this warning in live science has been issued. The statement is simply this. The planet is dangerously close to the tipping point for a hothouse Earth. Now, I'd like to just add that there are, there are many tipping points in climate change. So, so there's not just one threshold. And Michael Mann yesterday in PVS 
recently noted that that proceeding into human-caused climate change by continuing to burn fossil fuels is like stepping into a minefield. If you keep walking into a minefield, eventually some bombs are going to go off. And, and unfortunately, we've seen a few of the of the smaller bombs going off today in the forms of increasing wildfires and heat waves. But if you keep going deeper and deeper into that minefield, there's some much bigger bombs, and, and we don't want to trigger them. So, so when the scientists talk about hothouse earth, there's, there's, there's many stages in, in that process of, of, of entering hotter and hotter states. And, and what they're talking about in this article is, is the possibility of reaching a tipping point such that it will be, we will be unable to keep the earth cool enough to, to prevent reaching about a four to five degrees Celsius warming over the next couple of centuries, which would in turn set off massive sea level rise, heat waves like we've never seen before, extreme weather events that plague large portions of the globe and, and render sections of the earth practically un uninhabitable due to various reasons. Now this lends urgency to, to the present effort to, to halt fossil fuel burning and do the other things as well, the other things being revitalizing the various carbon sinks of the world, reforestation, working to figure out a way to draw carbon down from the atmosphere. But the primary source of the problem, the center of gravity, is fossil fuel burning. So keeping this in mind, I encourage you to take a look at the new scientific paper, the new scientific paper entitled Trajectories of the Earth System in the, in the Anthrop Anthropocene, and to read the related it literature in live science. But while you do this, i just like to call your attention to the fact that we are not there yet, that we still have an off-ramp that is available to us. And as Greenpeace notes, this is scary stuff, but unlike some headlines suggest, it's still hypothetical. We can come together and make a change for the good of our planet by keep, keeping global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Now that's a heavy lift. That's a really, really heavy lift. But as human beings and as members of a civilization that spans the globe, we each individually have a responsibility to, sh to support actions toward that aim. So as a final note, I would like to call your attention to an interview done on recent wildfires at, PV at PBS last night in which Michael Mann was asked some, some key questions and gave some great answers. And, 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 and this is his response and, and the response of, of many of us right now are a part of laying down a path, a framework that, that helps to get us out of, of a severe future crisis. And the one thing that I will say is that there is no way, no way we can avoid this if we keep burning fossil fuels. But we can avoid it, and we must. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be chatting with you soon.